how to treat jellyfish stings with vinegar. Beach season sparks excitement for everyone, young and old alike. And why not? Hours spent frolicking in the sand, soaking in the sun, and swimming in the ocean always brings up a vision of fun and utter relaxation. However, the latter also comes with the risk of encounters with jellyfish. Jellyfish stings are, at the least, annoying, and at worst, dangerous. Therefore, if and when you or a family member get stung, it helps to know treatment options. Of the remedies to treat jellyfish stings, vinegar is one of the most inexpensive options. The acidity can help relieve pain and inflammation on the skin. This guide will teach you how to treat jellyfish stings with vinegar, a readily available go-to remedy that you can find in any kitchen. 1. Remove any remaining tentacles. After getting the stung person out of the water, rinse the area with seawater and scrape it with a plastic card or use tweezers to remove any tentacles. More importantly, do not apply fresh water or alcohol to the area. Also, avoid rubbing the area. These actions may aggravate the situation by activating other stingers and cause them to release more venom into the skin. 2. Check the patient's vital signs. Very rarely, stung people may faint or exhibit shallow breathing. Some may also have a more serious reaction. Using your middle and index finger, check the pulse on the front of the wrist or the side of the neck. Next, monitor their breathing by gently feeling their chest or back for inhalation and exhalation. If the person has fainted and their pulse and breathing are slowing down, call the emergency hotline immediately. 3. Rinse with vinegar. Pour vinegar carefully onto the area in small amounts. This helps remove and deactivate any leftover stinging cells while helping to neutralize the venom. Continue rinsing sparingly for about 15 minutes to ensure no stingers are left. 4. Reapply vinegar on the area. After making sure the area is free of stingers, leave vinegar on the area for 15 to 30 seconds to relieve swelling and pain. For areas easy to soak, like the hands or feet, you can place vinegar in a small basin and soak the area for 15 to 30 seconds. For areas difficult to soak, dab some vinegar onto the skin and reapply when it starts to dry up. Do this for at least 15 to 30 minutes. 5. Using vinegar for face and mouth stings. If you or a family member has been stung in the face, you can still use vinegar. However, do not get it into the eyes or nose. For eye stings, Rinse the eyes with eye cleansing solutions like artificial tears or other sterile solutions. After rinsing, dip a clean soft towel into vinegar and carefully pat the skin around the eyes. For mouth stings, dilute the vinegar in a 1 to 3 ratio so that it's less acidic since the inner mouth membranes are sensitive. Next, gargle for a few minutes before spitting it out. 6. Apply vinegar until inflammation subsides. A few hours after the initial sting, there may still be some pain and inflammation in the area. You can apply vinegar every time you feel the pain getting worse. Soak a clean, soft cloth in vinegar, then gently dab the affected area. You can then expect the swelling and pain to subside in a few days' time. If the pain persists, you can also take over-the-counter analgesics and anti-inflammatory agents to help manage the symptoms. Now that you know how to treat jellyfish stings with vinegar, keep a bottle handy every time you and your family head to the beach for a quick and inexpensive treatment.